trying to get to the point here without making a long ass video and it never works out that way you know okay first thing I'm going to say please forgive me I'm old um, so this seems kind of silly for me I was watching a lot of YouTube videos for some reason I run into these videos of people's reviews of this new doll line by uh, what's this I don't know where's that at it will oh no oh stupid oh Mattel okay this new doll line called it from the Mattel um, company is called the gender neutral dolls they're calling them uh, creatable world Hashtag all are welcome. And basically it's just a doll line, okay, that's gender gender neutral. The, uh, the dolls are not supposed to be female or male or whatever. <laughs> it's supposed to be whatever you imagine that doll to be. Whatever gender you want that doll to be. It comes with a lot of accessories. Uh, girl clothes, boy clothes, in-between clothes. And if you get the whole line, you can just have fun with all this shit. <laughs> and, uh, okay, fine, you know, another line of Barbie dolls. Okay, fine. Um, personally, the kids are going to play with them. They're going to get bored with them. And it's going to end up in a toy box and forgotten about. To me, you know, that's how kids play with their toys. They, they play with it for a while and they get bored. You know. Um, kids have an imagination. I don't think they need anything else to spark their imagination <laughs> because their minds are full of imagination already. They're very creative and they, they, they know how to create this imaginary world and imaginary things and stuff like that. <laughs> and so the kids are awesome that way, you know. So, oh uh, yeah, that has no, I don't know where I'm going with this, but anyway, fine. Mattel's selling these dolls. So who knows if that's going to take off. So that's just another line, another line of Barbie. So let's talk about my, the dolls I played with growing up as a little girl. Okay. Okay, I had the Sunny and Cher doll. Did not last. They got haircuts and their heads ripped off. And <laughs> uh, Ken was uh, wearing other clothes and shit like that. And so it was a share doll and everything else, you know. I was I'm mean to all my Barbie dolls. None of my Barbie dolls survived. Okay, I had the um gosh, I can't remember that one doll. It's a it's a like it's a Ken it's a Ken type doll. Uh the mask something. Uh I can't think of it. But it came with a horse. <laughs> me to all my toys okay so I had that doll and that it suffered the same fate <laughs> and then I had the tan Barbie the tanning Barbie the the uh, the Barbie doll you stick outside and it went from white to tan you know it, it, it got a tan it was a tanning Barbie it, it turned dark <laughs> and when you brought it inside the tan went away it's the tanning Barbie that one actually lasted quite some time, believe it or not, because I was too fascinated why it went from light to dark. <laughs> there was the tanning Barbie. So there's the tanning Barbie. So what else, uh, what other Barbies did I play with? Gosh, I didn't have that many Barbies because my parents uh, figured out not to buy me Barbies because, you know, they went through hell. Uh, my Barbies did stunts. I played with my Barbies outside. They played in the mud puddles. They climbed trees. Um, just just ended up tr in the trash, <laughs> and that's how I played with my Barbies. Um, I actually had like baby dolls, you know, baby dolls. <laughs> I did not play with those very much. Those were not fun, so I ignored those after two seconds of playing with one. Never got another one like that again, because it didn't hold my attention. The Barbies held my attention. Um, but you know, but you know something, 
this um, new line of Barbie Creatable World by Mattel, that's going to suffer the same fate. Uh, I got a lot of cool accessories though, because the dolls I had grown up did not come with wigs. <laughs> Who knows what I would have done with the wigs? <laughs> I'd probably make something out of those wigs and then stick them on the toilet and scare my family members like I did with the rubber snake. <laughs> I scared my sister with a rubber snake. That's so funny. I just left a snake on top of the toilet. <laughs> when I was little, I left a snake on the snake on top of the toilet, and next, no. <laughs> oh my goodness! I heard the scream. <laughs> and the next thing, it came out. <laughs> God damn me, Karen! <laughs> oh, God damn it! <laughs> your damn toys. <laughs> That's <was> funny. <laughs> oh my god, being old it has its fun because now I'm having all these memories. <laughs> oh, you know when I was a little girl? Okay. <laughs> I would actually catch real snakes, okay? And I'd doctor them up and I'd let, and, <laughs> and I'd let them go, you know, because I thought they were injured. Well, this one snake I was doctoring decided to get out of his fish tank. <laughs> oh boy, I wouldn't go. <laughs> I would have gotten big trouble for that one. <laughs> You're like, where's this snake? And I see him. <laughs> the snake's crawling along against the wall. <laughs> the best part, if I wouldn't. <laughs> It's so hard because it's such a funny memory. I'm sorry. The best part of it is it was <laughs> slithering towards my parents' bedroom. <laughs> and I got that snake before it did that. <laughs> I would have got my ass whipped anyway. So anyway, that's my video. Hope you enjoyed it. <laughs> I enjoyed making it. Yeah, I'm just a silly old lady. What can I say? Well, I'm not that old. I feel just fish real feeling going through menopause, being in your 50s and shit. You feel old after a while, just down with the freaking hot flashes. You'd be at work, and it'd be a, a normal temperature inside, and you're sweating buckets. But hey, that's part of growing old sometimes as a lady. Peace out. <laughs>